Yes, welcome again to another Physics Live. Glad to have you. It's Wednesday afternoon. It's 4.30. It's another time to do some science experiments. And this time, it's all about the stuff that you can do using film canisters. What am I talking about that? What am I talking about is this stuff. Down here, down here, down here. Now, you'll find that down here is a film canister experiment all written up on our website. You can still get these things, these film canisters which look like that thing, you can still get from the local photography store. And if you can't find that, it's time to sort of throw it into eBay or Amazon or those sorts of things. You'll be able to get them and use like a bag of them for not that much money. But if you're lucky and you ask really nicely, ask a photographer who still uses film or a place that develops that film and you can turn these into a rocket. And that's what this is all about today. So... We better get doing it. So over here, all the way over here, we have some stuff to be able to make our film canisters work. So I've got my film canister here. Now, just as a heads up, your film canister tends to be, you need to make the, these uh, the white ones. There are other ones with the black with a gray top. They tend to not connect very, very well. And what I mean by connect is exactly what it sounds like. Connect and seal really, really tightly. And that tight seal holds in a whole bunch of pressure. And if you can hold in a whole bunch of pressure, you can make a rocket launch. So let's get this going. Now, what I'm going to do is I'll open this up and I'm going to add some vinegar. So by the way, if you're playing along at home and you are doing a film canister rocket, if you're able to get a film canister for this afternoon, make sure that you're not doing it next to your computer, your electrical device. You want to keep it away from that so you don't get it wet. Also, look above your head. We're making a rocket, which means it's shooting up, and you don't want to break stuff. You don't want to break the lights above you. So if you feel a bit uncomfortable where you are, maybe do this afterwards outside. Though I will show you how we can do it inside without uh, too many dramas. So, right, what we're going to do, I'm going to get my film canister, and I'm going to fill it up to oh, halfway. There you go. A little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. There we go. Done. Now we've done that. We're going to get some bicarbonate soda. And if you remember, when you put vinegar and bicarbonate soda together, they bubble. They react and release carbon dioxide and technically water as well. What we're going to do is I'm going to get a, ooh, a scoop and put it on my plate. And I'm going to add some water onto that bicarb soda. Now here's the thing. Having white powder on a white plate makes it hard to see. But it's still just a scoop of powder. I've just got a little bit of water and I'm mixing it around so that it becomes sticky. Now you want that stickiness because if it's sticky, it will stick into the inside of our lid. That's what we want to do. So get your sticky bicarbonate soda all the way into your lid. Press it on in there and you can tell it's working. You can turn it from the side and down and it doesn't fall out on you. That's what you're after. Which means when you clip these two together, Nothing will happen because the two reactants, the two things that you're using, will not be touching. And if they're not touching, they can't react and produce the carbon dioxide and build up all that pressure inside when you don't want it to. Now, here's a heads up. I'm doing this in my room, which means above me, I'll have some lights. Now, there's a way around this. There is a way around, it, around this. If you get a couple of clear cups and set this up so that when you do your experiment and you put the cups on top, It'll hold it down and it won't go anywhere near as high as it would without the cups. And I'm going to do that for this particular session. So I've got my bicarb soda paste. It's been mixed with water. I've got half a can canister filled with uh, water here. We're going to, uh, well, not water, vinegar. We're going to clip it down. They don't touch, so there's no chemical reaction happening. I'm going to turn it upside down and put the lid on top. And we'll wait and wait and go. And up it goes. Now, it didn't go very high, right? Now, I can tell you that if you do this experiment and have this outside without these, it goes much, much, much higher. In fact, we can actually run these ones where you have not that much vinegar. If you have about a quarter of the amount of vinegar in the, in the base of your canister, it will go ridiculously high, 10, 15 meters up in the air. Whereas if you add a lot of vinegar, it won't launch as high because it's got to lift all that vinegar up as well. Not all of it can escape and it won't work as well. Oh, hi, Kate, you've just joined us. Nice to have you on board with this thing. So again, if we just jump on over here and go down to this way, this is our experiment 
all set up there. So it's just recapping, just get a teaspoon of bicarbonate soda, doesn't matter which brand, get some water on it, get that paste into your lid and add your vinegar. Halfway tends to be nice, a little bit lower, about quarter full will go much, much higher. Once you've got it clipped together, they won't react, which means that nothing will happen because you put that bicarb soda into the paste of your lid and then you turn the whole thing upside down, the reaction does happen and bang, up it goes and it works a treat. So there you go, that is the film canister rocket. We did it safely inside because I have lights above my head so I put the plastic cups over it. If you're doing it at home, do it outside, maybe put some safety goggles on because you don't want it all splash in your eyes, you don't want to get hit in the eyes, but it's certainly a fun experiment and it's all got to do with high pressure gases moving out into low pressure, and if they push down, your rocket goes up, and you have a bit of fun with it. Hey, thanks very much. I hope you're having a fantastic holidays. It's the school holidays right now in New South Wales. I know other states have gone back to school. And if you're joining in, I hope you've been enjoying a lot of these uh, experiments every Wednesday afternoon. I might catch you another time.